Ambassador Zvogar, welcome to Atlanta. Would you um, tell us why you have come? I'm the ambassador of Slovenia, and I'm also the uh, presiding ambassador of the European Union. I preside uh, EU ambassadors uh, in Washington. Um, one of the jobs that I have, the jobs, if I can say so, is to um, promote European Union uh, in the United States. Um, so I'm, uh, I'm, I'm doing a lot of um, presentations in Washington, but also traveling a lot out of Washington. We try to reach outside of Washington and try to speak about European Union and what European Union does and how we can do uh, things together in the United States. It's great to see you here. Thank you very much. Yesterday at the Georgia Institute of Technology, when you were talking about the countries that had applied for admission to the EU, you referred to Slovenia as the best in class. What did you mean by that? Well, th that, was, um, that was not something that we say about ourselves. That, that, that's how we were told, called by the others. Uh, when we are negotiating membership in the European Union since, um, since the 90s, um, uh, we came out of Yugoslavia declaring independence, saying we want to join the European Union. And it was a was very, uh, very strong drive. Uh, we really wanted very hard to become a member of the European Union because that was, for us, a sign of, of prosperity, a sign of democrat democracy, of rule of law. Uh, that, was, that was the country we wanted to become. And it was a very strong uh, wish uh, of all the people and politicians to become a member of the European Union. So we did everything possible to to become one of the first members uh, to join the European Union. So among the group of the Central European countries, we were always try to be the first to conclude negotiations, the first to conclude different chapters, and, and uh, to do everything the best and by the book. And that's why we were called that we are uh, the best people in class, and that's why we were also probably chosen uh, to become the first of the new members to preside the European Union. You also said that Slovenia was the first to step out of Yugoslavia. Can you describe that process? Well, that was in 1991. Uh, Yugoslavia was uh, collapsing, actually collapsed uh, at the beginning of 1991. The federal institutions didn't function anymore. Um, and so after we had a referendum, we asked people how they feel about it, and 90-something uh, percent chose, um, uh, in, uh, voted for independence. Uh, so in June of 1991, we declared independence. We were the first one of the former Yugoslavia states that declared independence in June of 1991. And th that's why we are the first one to step out. But Yugoslavia actually um, stopped functioning much earlier. You uh, have uh, described Slovenia's development since 1991. Could you um, tell us how um, it is advanced? Well, I, I, then and now. Yes, I, I think we had a, a, a tremendous development. I think we can, we can be proud of what we achieved. Um, what I usually mention is that in 1991 we declared independence and uh, we were um, discussed by the EU foreign ministers as an issue and as a problem. And then 17 years later, uh, we are the one who is putting forward the agenda of the uh, European foreign ministers. So from being an object of discussion, we became a subject. We became the one who is um, uh, heading the table. Um, and so that speaks about the progress we made. And, and it's also economic progress that we made. I, I, uh, I think I, I mentioned at the Institute also that we had, uh, in 1991, we had $4,000 uh, per capita income while um, now we have like 23,000 euros uh, per capita income. And that, that's just in 17 years, tremendous progress. We have, we have growth of GDP that it now goes 6% per year. Um, and so everything went very well. I mean, transition was very smooth. Um, and we achieved all the goals we wanted. We, we became a member of European Union. We became a member of NATO. Um, and we are doing fine economically. Has there been much... Uh foreign investment into Slovenia's economy? Uh, we would wish there was more. Um, uh, we were, at the beginning, we were 
pretty much uh, reserved about foreign investments. Um, we tried to stabilize the economy first. So uh, the conditions for foreign investors in the 90s were not as good as maybe in other states of Central Eastern Europe. And I think we are changing that and we are improving, um, we are improving the, the, the conditions uh, or, or the incentives uh, for um, investment. Um, and we are hoping that, uh, that we, are, we, are, we will be getting more, uh, especially for the United States. We have many investments, uh, foreign investments from European countries. We don't have uh, many from the United States. We have a uh, big investment of Goodyear, and they, they are doing very well. I think they are very happy with how, how, um, how, they are, uh, how their investment is, is uh, working in Slovenia. Uh, we are now talking with another uh, possible big investor from the uh, United States, the Harris Entertainment from Las Vegas, in considering a huge investment mm. um, in Slovenian uh, family resort uh, type of business. Um, and we hope there will be more of that. Do you think there are opportunities for small to medium-sized companies from the state of Georgia or the city of Atlanta that might become uh, interested in Slovenia if they knew more about it? Um, I, I think definitely yes. Um, Slovenia is, um, um, well, it's a small market, uh, but uh, we don't think, uh, but we think it's, it's, it can be a, a, a very important uh, center or hub uh, for entering the region. If, if one wants to enter the region of southeastern Europe, where we are very well connected, we have very good um, uh, 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 business connections and, and other connections, you know, the former Yugoslavia and, and beyond, or, or Eastern Europe. Our companies are very well um, connected, are investing there, are doing very good business there. Um, so we, we think that Slovenia can be a very good uh, point of entry to the region. Um, it's it's um, a region with, or it's a country with, uh, you know, nice standard of living, um, so, it's, so it, it can be a nice uh, starting point. Um, we have a very high um, uh, uh, percentage of people that graduate. Um, and I think that here we are similar with Atlanta. I see that we have many universities in, in Atlanta. We have also uh, 45,000 students in our capital that has 300,000 uh, uh, people. Uh, so we have a lot of young people, a lot of graduated people, a lot of um, uh, high skilled labor uh, that can be used uh, for services or for for what uh, uh, for uh, any other business. Um, so um, we we hope that that small and medium uh, 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 enterprises from Atlanta would find a way to Slovenia, especially because we are also promoting slow, small and medium enterprises uh, uh, of Slovenia. Um, that that's something that the government is promoting to work on a s to help small and medium enterprises to. Um, to do more trade and to, to expand globally. So uh, there might be a connection there. And would you encourage partnerships? Uh, exactly, that's what, that's what I mean. Uh, uh, to, to partner with, with similar uh, companies in Slovenia and then try to do business maybe in the region. How about or, on or, the Sorry, I apologize. Oh, or, no. or maybe in the European Union. You know, we can also be a, um, a good entry point, point to European Union markets. We are uh, still, we have Euro. Uh, which makes it easier for transactions, but at the same time we are cheaper, um, you know, in rentals, in also in labor um, than um, than maybe some other European countries.